hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel i'm tip with the t uh today we're talking about lizzo if you guys have not heard get into this story okay lizzo is being accused by three different women of sexual harassment and weight shaming for those of you who don't know who lizzo is have you been living under a rock i mean come on i'm just kidding um, she is a plus size uh, female singer in the industry. Uh, I guess you would consider her music pop. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and jump into these allegations because this tea is piping hot, okay? The first thing I'm gonna show you is the interview with the three accusers. So lock in, get you a glass of wine, a cup of tea, some popcorn, whatever you gotta do, and let's get into this. goes into my... Um termination is that I had felt for a really long time that they were questioning um, my abilities uh, due to weight gain. It was never explicitly said, hey, you know, you're gaining weight. Um, your job is in jeopardy. It was never that. It was very nuanced. It was very under the rug. And I think that um, language was used to keep from being canceled. Previously, she had said, um, you know, she was worried about me at South by Southwest. And when I was at South by Southwest, that was the first time I had showed up to a Lizzo event or gig, noticeably having gained weight. There was nothing different about me. My performance skills were the same. My demeanor was the same. My energy was the same. The only thing that was different about me was my weight. And in this meeting, she, she stated as well that, you know, dancers get fired for gaining weight. Um, and then she kind of paused and looked at me and I still don't know if she really meant to single me out in that moment. But when she looked at me and she said that, I was kind of like, so she's really concerned about my weight. And then, you know, when we had that private meeting, when I was kind of cornered, I, um, they kind of wouldn't let me, you know, get away with not telling them something personal. So, um, and a reason why something was wrong with me. So I ended up telling them of that I struggle with, you know, anxiety and depression and that I'm in recovery from, from an eating disorder. And as soon as I said eating disorder, they immediately were like, oh, like in their head, it was making sense as to why I was gaining weight because it had something to do with an eating disorder problem. It's the same. Way. Were these demands or suggestions made by Lizzo, as you say, um, were they direct where they said we i really want you to do it or was it more i'm afraid if i don't i might get fired yeah um i think for uh for both of us there was like this always looming um feeling of thinking that if you didn't do something or you didn't adhere to certain uh suggestions or demands that your job could be in jeopardy you know have fun with her and you know um go along with like what she was doing and you know be down for anything that they were they were favored they were hired for more shows they were invited on you know like private jets and and to do cool things and you know could hang out with her and in, in like tropical settings like hawaii and stuff like that um some of our coworkers, you know, it's it's just like, there was no line between professionalism and personal. Um, and so we had in our minds that if we weren't, you know, down for anything that we would then be ostracized later. Um, it was this unspoken thing in the camp that if you, um, weren't super fun like if you did if you like skipped out on all of the like outings and you know mm -hmm. all that stuff that you wouldn't be seen in good favor um from lizzo and that you would then not be considered like one of the people that is like cool and down for anything and then therefore not be booked for for as many jobs overnight the third plaintiff noel rodriguez who was hired as a dancer for lizzo's juice video in 2018 telling abc news the singer became aggressive after she resigned from her position this spring i told her why i was like i feel unsafe i feel disrespected and i have never experienced such treatment in in the seven years that i've been doing this and um she then proceeded to prove all of those things right by falling up her fist and saying, you're so effing lucky, you're so effing lucky, basically alluding to hitting me, that she's not gonna hit me, as she's inching towards me. And then one of our fellow dance mates and her best friend comes and pulls her back from assaulting me. Lizzo's persona is one thing, but that after listening to these three brave uh, ladies, that the reality is different. 
Now, a filmmaker who also worked with Lizzo chimed in after these accusations came out. And here's what she had to say. I usually do not comment on anything pop culture related. But in 2019, I traveled a bit with Lizzo to be the director of her documentary. I walked away after about two weeks. I was treated with such disrespect by her. I witnessed how arrogant, self-centered, and unkind she is. I was not protected and was thrown into a shitty situation with little support. My spirit said to run as fast as you effing can, and I'm so grateful I trusted my gut. I felt gaslit and was deeply hurt, but I've healed. Reading these reports made me realize how dangerous of a situation it was. This kind of abuse of power happens far too often. Much love and support to the dancers. Um, and then another person chimed in, uh, who also worked on the documentary, Charlene Sanchez. She says, I was part of this documentary with your girl, Sophia. This is all true. I had to vent to so many of my friends about it. It was such a small crew and the experience of working with Lizzo was a nightmare. Oh wait, but there's more. After all these people come out and talk about how Lizzo is such a terrible person, another clip resurfaces of a of the woman that you saw in the first video singing Lizzo's praises and this was around the time of the alleged incidents that they're talking about in their accusations so let's watch that clip real quick surprise <laughs> hi what's up it's Ariana Davis from season one of Lizzo's watch out for the big girls I know, you're probably thinking, why is she here? What is she doing auditioning for season two? The short answer is, I'm a singer. <laughs> and I just wanna share that part of me with y'all. I know, I've been on tour, I've been working with Lizzo for, for uh, some months, maybe close to a year now. And um, it's been so amazing and such a beautiful journey. And she's probably gonna be like, girl, what are you doing? But anyway, I figured though, I might as well shoot my shot. I mean, I don't think she knows that I can sing. And the biggest thing about me is that I always say this, but dance is my first love and music is my passion. And if I was to be chosen for the cast of season two of Watch Out for the Big Girls, I, <laughs> I don't know. I just think that, it would mean the world to me to share my voice. I think my voice has gone quiet for too long. And I think that I have a story that people need to hear because I think they can relate to it and I think it can help change lives and, you know, do what Lizzo's doing. I I look up to her so much and I just wanna follow in her footsteps and not only be an amazing dancer, but be an amazing singer and storyteller. I love to write music, I love to sing, and I just wanna share that with the Queen Lizzo herself. Yeah, um, choose me to be part of the singing group. I know I'm already a dancer, but I can sing too, so yeah. <laughs> now, to me, that doesn't sound like somebody who has been sexually harassed or weight shamed. If the situation was so traumatic and so terrible that they're coming out to accuse her, they have a lawyer and they're ready to sue her and all this, in my opinion, she would not have been in this audition singing her praises, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. So after all of this, the accusations, the resurfaced video of her audition, Lizzo finally breaks her silence and she has a response. And this is what she says. These last few days have been gut-wrenchingly difficult and overwhelmingly disappointing. My work ethic, morals, and respectfulness have been questioned. My character has been criticized. Usually I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous to not be addressed. These sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. She goes on to say, 
As an artist, I have always been very passionate about what I do. I take my music and my performances seriously because at the end of the day, I only want to put out the best art that represents me and my fans. With passion comes hard work and high standards. Sometimes I have to make hard decisions, but it's never my intention to make anyone feel uncomfortable or like they aren't valued as an important part of the team. I am not here to be looked at as a victim, but I also know that I am not the villain that people in the media have portrayed me to be these last few days. I am very open with my sexuality and expressing myself, but I cannot accept or allow people to use that openness to make me out to be something I am not. There is nothing I take more seriously than the respect we deserve as women in the world. I know what it feels like to be body shamed on a daily basis and would absolutely never criticize or terminate an employee because of their weight. So that was Lizzo's response to all of this madness. There is a lot going on here. I don't really know what to believe. Personally, I'm not really a Lizzo fan, but that doesn't really affect my view on this. I kind of feel like this could be a money grab. They're trying to get Lizzo to settle out of court. A lot of people do this when it comes to celebrities. They try to get their 15 minutes of fame. And um, the fact that those two young ladies were sitting there at the TMZ interview with their lawyer, I felt that that was kind of fishy. I don't feel that professionally as a lawyer he should have been doing that i don't i don't know why he would have them in front of tmz openly talking about something that they haven't even brought to court there has not been anything filed in court so the fact that they have a lawyer tells me that they're trying to stir something up and that's the direction that they're going with this um I don't necessarily believe what they're saying, but I'm also open to the possibility that Lizzo is not the persona that she portrays herself to be. All that being said, I need to hear from you guys. Let me know what you thought about the situation. Uh, drop me a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you even doing? Like, come on, get with the program. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah. <laughs>